Hey everybody, how is everybody doing? It's Razor Tech here and welcome back to another video and today we are playing Scrap Mechanic and today I'm gonna show you something a little bit advanced, right? So today I'm gonna show you how to build a clutch and a drive shaft for you guys new out there who are like, who take interest in piston engines. Now for me personally, I don't know how to build a piston engine. I do know how to build the clutch and stuff, so that's what I'm gonna show you guys. Show to you guys. So first of all, to get started with the basics, you're gonna need a piston engine. Now you just wanna get one. Now, um, there are a lot of piston engines out there in the workshop, right? I'm just gonna be using this V2. There's actually a tutorial on YouTube for this engine, uh, how to make it. So I made it myself from following a YouTube tutorial, right? So this is a pretty, actually a pretty worse engine. It, it doesn't have a lot of power, it's actually not very good. But this is what I have to work with. And so let's get started. The first thing I want to do is after we make this engine, now if you follow the tutorial on YouTube, you'll have these types of things, right? Now if you do decide to download it from the workshop, you may have other types of this transferring axle. Now, you don't have to modify anything in the engine, of course, itself. Now, the first thing you need to do is, I would recommend put it on a lift, and you're gonna need a set of tools. Now, you're gonna need almost every type of pipe, so you can use the hot bars by clicking Alt 1 and 2 and 3. So that's what I use now. The first thing you need to do is on this axle you want to place down a 6x6 joint. You can actually also place down a 5 joint. It's up to you. Now there are different type of clutches. Now this is the clutch. Right. It may not look like much at the start, but after you build it, it starts to get it starts to look decently good. Now there are many types of clutches you can make. Now I'm making the most efficient one. Now in this you pretty much do this now like right here you have this and then you take the angle pipe and angle it uh, um, like this going out right and then you pretty much want to put these single pieces so it'll look like this this is one of the basic clutches actually kind of I built this myself I made this myself this is pretty efficient because the official clutch the piston which will push push it into the clutch you'll understand after making now this now the next thing you need to do is you're of course gonna need a wider base now understand this so you need your clutch anywhere but you need to have a little bit of space so let's say you want to make uh, you want to make the clutch car wheel that connects into this right to transfer the power now, as you can see if you connect this directly without any bearing you can see this spins with the engine Right. So the next thing you want to do is you want to grab some decent amount of length of wood or whatever material you're using. Then you want to uh, you want to actually put the clutch a little bit far away. Now, if you want the cock to be here, I'm gonna have to pull it around somewhere here. Now you're gonna see why. Now you want to make sure that it's that it is directly in front of this pipe right here. This one. Right, just like this this pipe right here and not the center that is one of the main things now the second thing you want to do is after you build your straight pipe you want to put a T piece then put two bearings down right and then another T piece on this side and on the other side and then you're gonna need to put like this and then put a piston and then connect it like this now you want to weld these two together there you go, that is your transfer axle. What this does is this connects this connects the transfer axle directly to your creation, else it will just fall down, which won't work. Then you want to build a piston, put a piston in, and then you want to just grab, and then you just want to make, after that, you, after you build a piston, you can either choose to put a 6x6, six 6x6, by six, six by six. no, a 6 side um, pipe, or you can also choose a 5 side pipe. Now it's up to you, it doesn't matter. Now, you see right here, after putting a block space of 4, at the start you only have one block left. Now, 
I know it did sound a little bit confusing. Now, this is what I'm talking about, look, right here. So, this, when it is parallel to this, okay, I'm getting to my server, whatever. So, you can see from this uh, side, I chose four, four blocks out right here. One, two, three, four. Right, and that ends, uh, that makes the transfer cogwheel end up just outside of the clutch, right? So if you want to have more space, you're going to have to put one more block, but this is the best. Then after that, now you can see that this spins, but this doesn't. Now, this is your main clutch. This is your transfer cogwheel. You just put a button in, then you connect this uh, switch directly to that, and there you go. Oh, okay, it's glitching a little bit. Let me just... There we go. Look at that. Oh my god. There we go. Look at that. Now, this... Now this whole thing moves with the piston engine, right? Now this piston engine is actually really bad and it's um, actually pretty bad. It can't power anything. You have to have like a, um, a lot less weight on something when to power anything. So that's not very good. You wanna choose either you can build a 4x4 piston engine, uh, 4 piston engine. Or you can download one from the workshop. Like I have here, I downloaded Khan's inline piston engine. Thank you, Khan, for making this right here. Now, his piston engine doesn't come with this transfer axle, so I actually had to make it right here. Let me just show you guys. Um, if I can type well, oh my god, I can't actually type well if I just this right here there you go you can see that his piston engine doesn't come with this transfer axle now it's actually pretty easy to do all you're gonna need is you want to cut this out uh, you want to first of all put it on a lift um, after you put it on a lift you want to place the piston back in where it was why is it lagging holding oh, those were close together it's okay right then you want to place a six by six very important then you wanna attach like that, then you wanna attach these two pieces, and then you wanna do this. And you just wanna make your simple transfer axle, right, like this as I showed you guys, right? And then like this, like so, and there you go, you have your transfer axle, if it is placed off the lid. There you go, you have your transfer axle if I run the engine. Right there, there you guys, you can see it works now. It's glitching because it has no load on it. Okay, let's delete this real quick. And delete this real quick. You don't want it pretty lag. Right, anyway, going off topic. Now, you can see this engine works. Now, let me just actually make these piston. Make these 20. Now, I may be able to increase the length. Now, you see the most important thing about this class, the more length you have, the more um the less likely it is to glitch out of this cog view so you want to make sure you set your piston on full don't have the speed too low and don't have the speed uh, full because then it can sometimes just glitch out so you just want to maybe keep it at three and something like that but whatever it's up to you right so now the next thing the drive shaft right i'm gonna have to turn this on and place it on a lift again now for this drive shaft, you're gonna make the simple cogwheel again, just like so. Now, after you made this cogwheel, this is a tricky part. So you wanna do this. You wanna pretty much have this, have this block right here, like this, like so. I don't know how to, ex I don't know how to explain that, but uh, like, what are we guys understand, right? And then after you have that, you wanna make an additional. Oh no, <laughs> sorry about that, uh, and you wanna make an additional block right here, and then you wanna again do the transfer axle, this is pretty much where the wheels go, right, so, just like so, now this is the basic transfer axle, there you go, there you go, so that is your basic transfer axle right there, now you can of course put a wheel, now, um, a lot of these piston uh, engines are actually pretty big and like pretty big size so you might want to have mods for modded wheels because you will actually run into ground, ground clearance issues right.
So you don't want to have that, right? That's that's actually really bad. But it's up to you guys again. Now I don't know how to make CV joints. If you guys, any of you guys know how to make that, please let me know because I want to actually learn CV joints so that you can drop the wheel down and still transfer power. Uh, that's the CV joint right there, but that's actually really big. Whatever, back to the top again. Now, after I made the transfer axle on this uh, support beam or your creation or whatever, now you just wanna pretty much do this and then make sure and then put it like this. Now, the main thing about this is that this is in front of this, like so. So, when they're off the lift, they collide. Um, yeah, they collide actually. Now, uh, after you have made that, you want to take it off the lift. This now you can see it's missing one gear now off the lift because when it is on the lift, the bearing is locked, right? You guys know that in scrap mechanic, the bearing is locked. Then you want to take it off the lift. As soon as you take it off the lift, it will move. Now, since because our clutch mechanism, it doesn't move because the clutch isn't engaged yet. So you want to make it again. You want to put that last piece there, and there you go. What the hell? It was kind of sinking to the ground, that was really weird. And now you can see they glitch out a little bit, but that's not that bad. Is it? It's falling. Okay, this is bad. Um, whatever. So now onto the next deck. Now you have, after you have made that, you want to pretty much do this, extend this out, extend the other bar out, or you can create any other bar if you want. It's up to you again, guys, because, well, you're the master of your creation. Right. So then, after that, you want to pretty much have a single axle. Now, you, two things that you need to do right, and you need to know right here. First of all, this is a solid axle. If you don't know what it means, this is a. It it doesn't have a differential. Now, if, if you guys are not car guys, a lot of you may know or may not know what differential is. Well, it pretty much it pretty much transfers the power to the wheel which has least amount of resistance. Now, this is a solid axle, so if your wheel, even one of your wheels gets stuck, it'll pretty much stall the engine. That is why I, um, I, it, that is why I want you guys to use a powerful piston engine so the piston engine can push through, otherwise this will just get stuck. It's stuck. Um, right. Now, back to the, back to design here. Now after we've extended this pole, you wanna again make the transfer axles pretty much the same but make sure that this time your transfer axle is connecting to this rod just like this. Right, then you wanna make that transfer axle just like so, oh no. Now the main thing about this transfer axle is you wanna first of all put the piston on this angle piece and then put the angle peel piece on this so that you can weld together now if you guys see right here what I mean if I were to put this right here now that attaches to your piston but there's um right uh, oh, this is what I meant you see if this is like this and then you place the piston right here the piston doesn't actually attach to this and you can't weld to this see this is what I mean look at that this is free floating so that's not what you want. So you wanna first of all put the angle piece on the piston and then weld them together and there you go. Now after you've done that you wanna pretty much place down wheels and then you're ready to go. Now I will have to delete this. Mm, just like so. Just like deleting these legs else it will cause ground clearance issues. Now normally use modded wheels for my um my creations not I mean of course for the piston engine because it gives them a lot of appearance and there you go now you can see when I engage the clutch there you go it starts moving this is one of the simplest um, uh, not one of the simplest uh, piston engines oh gosh now let me just show you guys what I meant about that if I just create like a wall right here look at that the piston engine strolls now if you would have had a differential that wheel would have kept moving and what the hell? How did that happen? Okay, whatever. Right, that wheel would have kept moving and one of them would have stopped. But that's not what we're doing right here. 
Anyways guys, this is how you make a simple clutch and a drive shaft. Now of course you can extend this drive shaft as far as you want, but um, you want to make sure that you put two joints, two of these connecting rod joints at the start of the clutch and at the end of this cog wheel else it will be like floppy and it will glitch out very easily right so you don't want that happening it's actually happened to me when you make really long drive shafts and you don't want to put a lot of load on these cog wheels because if you do then they won't spin they'll like slip it's another weird glitch with scrap mechanic I know how to fix that, but that will be for a later episode, right? Now this is your basic piston engine. Now this is of course not the most basic piston engines. You can also just pretty much make a piston engine if I just piston engine. I mean you can also make a car without having a piston, without having a clutch. You can pretty much do this right here, like just oh my god, I have to. You can pretty much make the simple cog wheel, just like so. Oh no! Oh my God, what am I doing right here? All right, go back, back, and then just make another of these blocks. Put another one of these blocks. Put the transfer axle like so, like so. Right, as I was saying, just like so. Now you can see that I now this. Piston engine doesn't have a clutch, it directly goes to the rear drive shaft. Now you can see right here if I just put in this cog wheel. Oh no. Oh that's gonna get stuck. Oh no 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 we don't want the cog wheel. Oh god, stop. Sorry, you don't want that happening. Right, just like this. There we go. It it transfers power pretty much straight away. Right? Now there's no official way to stop this because you need a button to turn off the piston engine in that other one now in this you have a clutch so you can pretty much disengage the clutch and now the main point why you would want to make a clutch is let's say you get stuck like this let me just uh, there you go let's say you oh no oh no this is bad <laughs> well i got stuck right whatever the point is, let's say you get stuck right here. There you go, your wheels are spinning and now in the other one, you'd pretty much be stuck. You would have to take it on a lift. Now in this case, you turn off the um, a button and you disengage the clutch and then you pretty much hit the wheels and there you go, you can go in reverse, then engage clutch and there you go, you're going forward again. This is one of the most uh, biggest advantages of using a clutch, right? Now you can also build other cars with like gear ratios. I have built other cars like right here. Uh, I believe this is the wrong one. No, 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 this is the correct one. Now you can see I'm using cons piston cons inline engine here. Uh, this is pretty much a four piston engine. And then it directly goes to a clutch. Now you see this isn't running, it's because it has a switch. So you can use this in a direct transmission. Now, in this case, you can see it goes to a clutch. Oh, if I can find the button to get the clutch. There you go. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, God. All right. Now, as I was saying, now this goes into a... Um, it increases diameter. So, pretty much, if this goes from here, it's a 2 to 1 gear ratio. Hence, it will be increasing a speed. Now, you guys might see where there are two cog wheels right here. Now, if I just press this button, you can see the cog wheel switch which then switches the direction of the spinning of cogwheel which then give a, gives us a forward and a reverse gear now that is for another video guys anyways guys i hope you guys like the video thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for more videos like this and see you next time goodbye